wonder, does heat transfer from hot places to cold ones or the other way around? Hi, my name is Marim Hamidi and I'll be answering your question. Born in the 19th century, as scientists were discovering how to build and operate steam engines, thermodynamics is basically the study of how energy works in a system. And today, I'm going to walk you through its basic laws, which were summed up in the Ginsberg theorem as follows. You can't win, you can't break even, and you can't quit the game. You can't win refers to the first law, which states that the change in energy of a system is equal to the heat added plus the work done on the system. So basically, you can't get more energy out than what you put in. Hence the law of conservation of energy. The first law also states that for an engine to produce work, you have to supply heat, but some of the heat is inevitably lost to the outside world, which brings us to the second law. You can't break even. And it means that due to entropy that is always increasing in the universe, energy will always flow from higher concentration of energy places to lower ones until the energy is equally distributed. So basically, you can't even get as much energy out as you put in. And that can explain why heat spontaneously flows from hot places to cold ones and not the other way around, since the more energy a solid has, the hotter it is. And finally, the third statement, you can't quit the game, refers to absolute zero. Absolute zero cannot be attained by any procedure because as we know from the previous law, heat will spontaneously move from a warmer body to a cooler body. So the object that you're trying to cool to absolute zero will always be taken in heat from its surroundings. And that's it. I really hope you learned something useful from this video and I hope I successfully answered your question. Thank you for watching.